Want to learn how to create this effect and more in Filmora 12? Stay tuned! Hey, Caleb here from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. For this video, we put together some really easy masking tricks that you can create with Filmora 12's new masking features. We're gonna learn how to create the big head effect, a glasses reflection effect, and a bonus effect that I'll show you at the end of the video. I think you're really gonna like it. By the way, if you haven't already downloaded Filmora 12, you can get it at filmora.wondershare.com or at the link in the description. First, let's learn how to film the big head effect. Make sure your camera is on a tripod because we need to make sure the shot is still for editing later. Put your subject near the center of the frame. Also, make sure you have enough space around your talent so the framing still looks good once we make the head bigger. Now it's time to film. Your talent can move their head around, but make sure they plant their feet. If they move from their chair, the effect might look off. Now that we have our footage, let's go into Filmora to edit. Start by adding your shot to the timeline and trimming it to the right length. Next, copy and paste your clip on the timeline. Double click the top clip and go to mask. Click the draw mask button and move over to the viewer window. Now we can start to draw a mask around the head of our talent. After your mask is done, we can move over to basic and then the scale slider and move it up. When the head looks big enough, we can reposition if we have to with the position sliders. If it still doesn't look right, then go back to mask and adjust the shape of the mask. You can also use the blur slider to help blend the effect in if it still doesn't look right. Just like that, we're done. Let's create this reflection effect in Filmora 12. To film this video, we will need to use a tripod again. Make sure your shot is nice and close to your talent's glasses for the effect to work best. Ask your talent to move their eyes around like they're using a computer. To add another layer of realism, we can use a flashing light on our talent's face to simulate the flashing monitor. We're using a stock video of a futuristic HUD for our reflection. Put your glasses footage on the timeline and the monitor footage on top. Double click it and turn the opacity to around 40%. Now click mask and click the draw mask button. Draw a mask around the inside of the glasses lenses. And use the blur slider to blend the effect in better. It still doesn't look perfect. So let's change around the extend slider and the blur slider and reposition if we have to. After a little work, you should have a great looking reflection. And now for our surprise effect. With custom masking, we can clone things like this boat and blend it in nicely to the shot. Drag your base footage to the timeline, then copy it and paste another on the track above. Double click the top clip, then go to mask and then draw mask. Now let's draw a mask around the boat. Then click basic. Change the position of the boat with the position slider. When you found a good spot, we can make a few more adjustments to make the effect look more natural. Go back to your mask and adjust the extend slider. And then the blur slider. This looks pretty good. You can also click on color and adjust the exposure or other color settings to accurately match the other boat. Once you're finished, watch it back and see how it looks. Looks great. I really hope you found an effect that you can have some fun with. Which one was your favorite? And what are some ideas that you have to get creative with the new masking features? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and I'll see you next time.